Well, those are tough acts to fall on there. Uh, just want to say hello, everyone. For those of you who might not know me, my name is Jason Carrick, and I'm Brooks's brother and, and best man. I'm so thrilled to be part of this great occasion and help to celebrate the, the beginning of Brooks and Jackie's marriage while ringing in the new year tonight. I've had the pleasure of being a best man a couple of times before, but this time is different. This is my only brother, and I feel honored to represent him in this capacity. Although Brooks and I have always been very close, we sometimes have a funny way of showing it. <clears throat> my wife Jen has often joked that Brooks and I speak to one another in code. In fact, she can usually guess who I'm talking to when I'm on the phone with Brooks. It's not, un not uncommon for our conversations to be laced with expletives and have, <laughs> have been known to get into heated arguments about sports, politics, or, or really just about anything. <clears throat> I think we both take some sort of sick pleasure in choosing opposing points of view from one another just for the sake of a good argument. <laughs> In our relationship as brothers, I know that we're each other's biggest fans, but we're, like, we're more likely to express that to someone else rather than one another. I'd like to take this opportunity to use this stage to express to him what my relationship with him means to me. <clears throat> Even though I'm the quote unquote big brother, I've always looked up to and admired Brooks for some of the following reasons. <clears throat> Brooks, in my opinion, is one of the most intelligent people that I know. There's been many times where I have purposely baited Brooks into an argument with some unsuspecting person that holds an opposing point of view. So, <clears throat> I find it entertaining to watch him speak with such conviction and rattle off a slew of facts, most true, but some made up, <laughs> to support his argument. The poor person that he's up against usually doesn't know what hit them. I still think Brooks should have been a lawyer. Brooks is also fiercely loyal, whether it's his family, friends, or his pets. Brooks will always go to any lengths to be there to support those that are close to him. God helps someone who tries to cross or take advantage of someone that Brooks loves and cares about. Jackie, now that Brooks has given you his commitment that he'll be by your side until death do you part, I can assure you that his word is as good as gold and he will fulfill this, commi fulfill this commitment to you. Thank you. Work ethic and responsibility are two other traits of Brooks's that I admire. Although Brooks's strong work ethic is admirable, Thank you. at times too much of a good thing isn't always a good thing. For years, Brooks has poured a lot of himself into his career. I happen to live in Phoenix, and at certain times of the year, there's a three-hour time difference between Phoenix and Cleveland. I can remember plenty of times where he's calling me p past 10 o'clock his time, and, and it's 7 o'clock my time, and I've already been home for an hour or so. <laughs> Since Jackie is coming to Brooks's life, she's helped to restore a sense of balance for him, and I think that's been great. He enjoys spending his, evening with, his evenings with Jackie, which has led to him working more reasonable hours. Jackie's also been able to encourage Brooke to, Brooks to invest more in himself, which has been nice to see. I have not seen Brooks truly enjoy life as much as he has since he's met Jackie. They share a lot of the same interests and seem to truly enjoy being in one another's company. Jackie's optimistic outlook and positive attitude has been a great influence on him, and he's shown a side of himself that, that many have not seen before. Jackie has helped Brooks to open his mind. I didn't think I'd ever meet somebody capable of that. <laughs> this guy could be one of the most stubborn, opinionated people that I've ever known. I remember being made fun of Brooks for starting to like country music, and now, lo and behold, he's gone to multiple country music concerts with Jackie, and in some cases, he's even liked the music. <laughs> this is just one of the many examples of Jackie's ability to help Brooks see things through a different lens. I think it's so cool that Brooks and Jackie are living in a house that's been part of Jackie's family history spanning generations. Here's to them writing their own chapters and creating their own family history in that home for years to come. My brother Brooks is a really good person who has a lot to offer. Jackie, you are the right person for Brooks to be able to give himself to, and I think you both complement one another very well. In recent years, I've drawn inspiration. Anytime I see an elderly couple holding hands while walking down the street, it makes me think about how much they've probably been through with one another, and how they've inevitably navigated through life's ups and downs, and yet are still able to show affection for one another. Sadly, this is a rare sight, but I admire it every time I see it. I wish this for the both of you. I hope that you have the type of love that's strong enough to endure life's ups and downs and that you two will still be holding hands 40 years from now. I'd like to wrap my thoughts with a quote. Marriage is not about finding a person you can live with. It's about finding the person you can't live without. My brother Brooks has found that person in Jackie. Please join me in raising your glasses to toast the bride and groom. Here's to a lifetime of happiness for Jackie and Brooks and may you still be holding hands many years from now. Give it up for the best man in the room. Let's hear it for Jason, everybody. Give a round of applause. Well, come on, you gotta do better than that. Let's hear it for Jason. Come on. All right, guys, I know you guys are ready to eat. Our bride and groom have a quick word to all.